For the last couple of days, consumer stocks have been buzzing around. And as we speak, we have Jubilant Foodworks, which is now up almost 2.5% at the high point of trade. The other stock which is doing well is Colgate. In fact, it was among the top gainers yesterday as well. The big trigger for them is that come September 1, we have uh, the new leader, Prabha Narsimhan, joins in as MD and CEO from HUL. She's been there for about 15 odd years. So maybe the street is betting on some change out there with regards to strategy, etc. Or maybe a fresh wind coming in on uh, Colgate. Uh, the stock up almost 6% in just the last two trading sessions. But speaking about the consumer space itself, our colleague Shilpa Ranipeta spoke with Nadir Godrej, who's the chairman of the Godrej Industries, and asked uh, or started by asking about rural demand. There's been a little bit of deficiency in the monsoon, but overall it's not all that bad. And we also expect uh, very good rubby crops because in the last few years, uh, the monsoon has extended quite late mm -hmm. and that's very good for the rabi crops but it's very variable so the kharif crops have been for the last two or three years some degree of damage but I don't think uh, rural demand is all that bad. Okay. Um, what about the impact of inflation though because not just your consumer uh, business it's also had an impact on your agri business as well uh, with livestock uh, the cost there also going up so are you seeing any signs of easing in the in on that front yes we saw that the july inflation was lower than the june inflation and commodity prices which shot up after the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine have come down considerably. Right. And Indian in inflation is largely influenced by commodity prices. Right. There is not much wage push inflation as in the US and Britain. So when the commodity prices rose, wages were also rising in those countries. That doesn't have much impact in India. So by March, April, everyone is expecting inflation numbers in India to be quite reasonable. And so we don't have to worry much on that front. Right. March, April, as in you mean next year? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because of the base effect, it'll take some time. Mm -hmm. Because prices were low uh, 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 in, mid, uh, in uh, before February. Right. So it'll start having an impact. Right. But we did see in the last couple of uh, months that, you know, consumers were down trading. They were cutting down uh, purchases also because inflation was really pinching, especially in the urban, poor and rural markets. Uh, have you seen that also for uh, Godrej Industries? Uh, in Godrej Industries, our major business is a chemicals business. Right. And it has been an excellent time for the Indian chemical industry, especially the specialty chemical industry. In Godrej consumer products, there was a little bit of an effect, mm -hmm. but things are picking up now even for that business. Godrej properties, things are picking up. And for the chemicals business, it's, it's the last year was the best ever. Right. And uh, this year is even better than last year. <laughs> right. And uh, talking about your international business, especially for consumers, some slowdown we've seen and there's also some fears of, uh, you know, recession or pain in, uh, in emerging markets. Yes. I wanted to understand what's the impact of no, that. Uh, that's a big impact. Mm -hmm. And most emerging markets are having a tough time. Even countries like in Kuduj Agrovet doesn't have many international businesses, but it has one in Bangladesh. And the Bangladesh business over the last few years was doing extremely well. But this is a difficult time for Bangladesh. You know what's happened in Sri Lanka and Pakistan has been affected badly by inflation and floods. And in Africa also there are problems. Even Indonesia had a slowdown, but Indonesia is picking up a bit uh, now. So there are, there are problems in the world, there are problems in the developing world. There, inflation is a big problem, therefore, uh, the central banks are causing a recession to bring down inflation. Uh, India is in an unusual position of being the large, a large economy with the highest growth rate in the world right now. Right. So we, are, we don't seem to have all the trouble. We have some risks. Uh, balance of payments have been affected by the inflation. But our growth rate has not really been affected much, and we are right. growing much faster than most economies. Right. And that is likely to continue. But we have to be careful. Of course. So when you say we have to be careful, on, on what accounts, and also in terms of inflation, you said it will get much better. Uh, but the consumer sentiment that has uh, dampened because of that, by when do you see that reviving? I think the consumer sentiment is already improving. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, and uh, also wanted to understand with respect to international markets, just adding on there, uh, what about the Africa business? What's the impact that you've seen? You there mentioned all the other. On the Africa business, 
and uh, uh, we are reorganizing our African business to bring more focus, uh, tighter controls, and all that we expect will pay off. And right. although the economic situation is bad in Africa, we think the business will actually improve because of uh, working better on our own side. We have right. we had some problems which we have sorted out, and we think that the business will do better in spite of the bad economic situation. Right. So I want to understand about Godrej Capital also, your newest business. You've also, Godrej Industries has also upped its stake. So far, uh, you know, what's the progress been? What areas are going to be your immediate focus? In the beginning, it's mostly housing finance, but mm -hmm. later on there may be other things. It's growing quite uh, rapidly, and we will continue to invest it in it for a little while. And uh, ultimately, maybe in two or three years, uh, we may consider an IPO. Right, wonderful. So for Godrish Capital, you're saying in two to three years you will consider an IPO? We'll consider. Yeah, it depends on how it progresses. Right. Yeah. And uh, going to, uh, one last business, which is also properties, I wanted to understand, uh, how's the uh, revival there been also, the consumer sentiment that is improving? Are you seeing that also coming into the properties? Are people buying more homes? How's the business going? The property business is doing very well. Right. Yeah. So finally, the demand is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So finally, wanted to understand about a lot of speculation talk has been talk going on about the split in the Godrish business. Any update that you could give us on no, that front? There is no further developments, no comment. Oh, so any timeline or when we can expect something? We don't know. Okay, so perhaps uh, you can look forward to the Godrich Capital IPO. They'll consider it in the next two to three years. That's the word coming in.